Today we're gonna take that photo, remove the background, put it above the sky and color grade everything. Hey there, my name is Ali. If you haven't checked my Instagram, make sure you check it out to be updated with my latest work. We'll start by creating a new layer. I'm gonna go 2400 by 3000. This is because like the Instagram supports the portrait better than the landscape. Okay, first thing, I'm gonna drag my first photo, which is this one. I like to drag the photos first in a new document, then put them here so that you, you get like use of the full size of the photo then you can resize it down if you want I'm gonna resize this one something like that I'm gonna resize it even more and I don't like the bend here in these columns so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold control alt and shift and just pull from the top corner so it's like more perspective towards up and not having an angle okay and we're gonna make it even more smaller something like that I guess that's good but still I'm gonna make a little bit of adjustments in these columns but the first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna cut the external part from this photo so I'm gonna speed this up forward Okay, now I made this selection, I'm gonna add a layer mask, then I'm gonna press Ctrl I to invert it, and then I'm gonna stand on the layer, get my magic wand, and uh, like click on the blue here and there in the sky. It's easy to cut these blue because they are different from the white here. Okay, I clicked outside. Make sure you hold shift so you add. But I see there's a problem here actually, so I'm just gonna make my polygonal lasso, hold alt to minus, and then I'm just gonna minus this area from the column. Okay, then on the layer mask, I'm just gonna paint black by using alt backspace, so we get rid of it. Okay, one more problem we have is that, let me do this. Okay, now I'm gonna paint white to bring back, we lost like our model, so I need to bring her back. I'm gonna start with the magic one, see what I can erase actually. It's easy to cut this model actually because like she's wearing blue and the environment is completely white. Okay, so I cut this area. Just some small additions and I guess it will be fine okay something like that then I'm just gonna use a normal brush a hard one with 100% opacity and paint black Okay, then control D. I just want to get rid of this area. I have a like a nice technique. You can add a new layer Alt backspace make it completely black hold alt and just clip it to This one so you can see how good or bad you cut you see here now I saw that I lost something. Let me close this one. You see I lost an area here so I'm just gonna use the white color and bring it back and Use black color and erase this area. I brought back by mistake let me open this one back again. I guess we're good now. Okay, let's get rid of this one. Okay, we're done with the cutting part. Let me try to... Uh, I guess I'll do one thing to this photo. I'm gonna press Ctrl J. So now we have another duplicate. Just in case I mess up. I'm gonna right click apply layer mask. Now it's a layer. Then I'm just gonna make a selection like that. And I'm just gonna move this one down like this even more it's too like tall i don't want it like that and i'm just gonna adjust its perspective 
and erase it okay now it's looking good now i can actually make this one taller and a little bit bigger move it up a little bit okay now it's much better one more thing i really need to do is that i'm gonna this model is actually flying if you take a closer look so i'm just gonna select her and move her using the move tool yeah so she's standing on the edge and not flying but let me do one thing first i'm gonna press ctrl j so she's in on a new layer actually and i'm gonna close the new layer and on this layer i'm actually just gonna erase from here just the edge like that and now using this layer i'm just gonna move her down but i don't want this area below her so I'm gonna get rid of it actually, like that. Okay, delete then, put her down, now it's good. Now I can like control E both these layers together so they are merged onto one layer. Okay, now we have our layer ready, let's start adding our background. I'm gonna use this photo first. I'm gonna put it below. So now we have this one, this one, I'm gonna create a clipping mask, go to the gradient, make sure I'm on the first one, and don't use like 100% opacity, I'm just slowly gonna erase the sky, something like that, I don't want this castle to be appearing, so I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna like pull it like that so it matches the perspective even better, yeah something like that, maybe pull it down a little bit. And then using the clone stamp tool, I'm just gonna take a cloud brush and I'm gonna make it on current layer. Hold Alt, stamp some of these clouds here and just... Oh, I have to be on the layer, sorry, not the mask. Stamp using Alt some of these clouds and just put them on top to cover like the castle. Okay, let me drag another one from this castle. This one I'm gonna put it below actually, yeah. Then I'm gonna make this one even match the perspective. Yes, something like that I guess. But this one I'm gonna leave like the castle to appear. Uh, it's not really matching the perspective. Yeah, like this is better. And I'm gonna take the last layer. Put it below everything. And I'm just gonna make it like too big, something like that. I'm gonna make these actually both. Bigger and up like that. Then I'm gonna take this one. This is just like, I'm gonna put it above actually. This is all like trial and error. You must keep on trying until you get like the best result. Okay, then I'm gonna add a layer mask and using the gradient. I got the gradient by pressing G. I'm just gonna erase the back area. This one is actually, I don't know. I don't like how it's looking. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, bigger, like that. Then I'm gonna, on this one, I'm also gonna gradient, remove the blower part. Yeah, now it's actually looking good. And using a brush, I'm gonna take my cloud brush and with low opacity, I'm just gonna erase some parts here and there. So we bring back some of these mountains. Okay, and finally, we can put this one a little bit up. Okay, so now we have our sky, but this layer, if you can see, it's too blue and these are too red. So I need to match them. So I'm just going to go to the color balance, link it below, go to the highlights, add some red. So now the three of the skies are matching. Let me group the, the skies together and let's call this one background skies. Okay, so now I have my background and I have my foreground. Let's start coloring everything together. 
But first, one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold Alt and I'm gonna make another copy of this background and then I'm gonna press Ctrl E. So now it's merged on a new layer. I'm gonna change the blending mode to overlay and I'm gonna press Ctrl T, right click, flip vertical. So now it's upside down. What I'm trying to do is creating a reflection on this, like the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna make it something like that. I'm gonna bring it back to normal and I'm just gonna lower its opacity and I need to erase the reflection actually from this area and along with this one I want it only to be on the like the floor and of course I'm also gonna remove it from the model just like that and delete and the last part we need to get rid of it from the model so I'm using the eraser I pressed E to get my eraser and I'm erasing it from here okay one thing I just noticed about the model we have here some white so I'm gonna use the eraser to erase it and also here we have some white so I'm erasing it using the eraser I didn't do it like really carefully there's another way to do the hair much better but in this case, the model is small, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's color grade. I'm gonna go to the background. I'm gonna go to curves. I'm gonna go to the red channel. I'm just gonna add some red and some yellow in the, like, the highlights and some magenta. This is green. No, I want the opposite. Magenta. Okay, something like that. Let's take our model. Let's come here, actually. And... Curves. Let's go to the red channel. Let me add some red in the highlights, cyan in the shadows, and let's go add some magenta and some yellow. Okay, now they are matching, I guess. Now I'm gonna add like coloring the whole image together. First, I match the two different layers together, and then I try to like fix the whole thing together. But one thing I think they still need, I'm gonna add a layer, link it below. Take a brush, I'm gonna sample this color and actually I'm just gonna paint over the edges of this photo like that with the color because I believe it's still like here the floor is too like blue so I guess it needs some coloring some of the red and after this I'm gonna change the blending mode to color so now it's instead of blue it's red let me add some here also and let me erase it from her dress I don't want her dress to be red I want it to be blue so it's like contrasting okay so I'm gonna add curves on top of everything now I'm gonna color grade the whole thing I always like to pick my black point up a little bit pull my shadows a little bit down pull my highlights a little bit down and just the whites pull it up a little bit something like that is good and then let's take a gradient map let's try this one but let me move the red a little bit here move it a little bit to the orange and let me hold alt and make a copy of this blue and put it to the cyan something like that it looks horrible of course but once we change it to soft light and reduce the opacity strongly it's gonna look good adding some color to the photo and then I can go to curves adjustment layer go to the red channel add cyan in the shadows just a little bit go to the blue channel add some blue in the shadows go to the green channel add some green in the shadows or maybe no I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go to the blue add some yellow actually okay looking good Always look here in the navigator to like take a, a zoomed out look of your photo. Okay, one more thing I'm gonna do. I want to like this helps blending everything together. I go to hue and saturation and press colorize. What this does, it gives the whole image the same color. Let's say I want this orange color to the whole image with that amount of opacity and a little bit darker, something like that. I'll do that and then I'm just gonna lower the opacity. So this like blends the whole image together. Let me press Ctrl and J so I have another one.
but this time I'm gonna change the color of it somewhere towards the red and I'm just gonna brighten everything up a little bit it's too dark okay one more thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to curves adjustment and I'm just gonna brighten the whole image but then I don't want this to be happening in the whole image so I'm gonna make my take my brush using the black brush I'm gonna delete it from the areas where I don't want them to be bright Yes, here and there actually I guess it lost a lot of color so these two I'm gonna lower their opacity yes they are too strong okay one more thing I'm gonna do go to curves adjustment layer darken everything out but then I don't want this affecting the whole thing so I'm just gonna erase from here and there so this area remains bright the way it was and i guess we're done with the editing now let's hold ctrl alt and shift or command option and shift then press e what this does it merges everything into a new separate layer so now i can go to filter camera row filter and edit the whole thing in one shot okay let's take a look okay i actually like to increase the whites yeah, so it makes like the points of light makes them more interesting and reduce the highlight a little bit I do the same with the blacks. I increase the blacks and reduce the shadows a little bit Okay, the clarity is up to your taste If you increase it everything will be like much clearer, but I guess this is a, like above clouds image So it's better if you keep it smooth something like that then I like to go to the sharpness, add a little bit of sharpness to the photo, just a little bit. And in the effects module, I like to dehaze the photo. Maybe haze it like if you want to have it foggy, you can like reduce it or you can increase it if you want it to be clearer. I added four here and a little bit of vignette to draw attention to the middle of the photo. Then jump to the camera calibration, play around with the colors. This will make like the more reddish and more cyan. I don't like it. I'll try this one. Uh, not really much of an effect. The red, I guess I'll use it. You can like either choose to make it more orange, yellow orange, or make it like more towards the purple red. I like the purple red in this photo. Yeah, I like the purple vibe actually here. So I'm going to press OK. So this is like the camera row filter. This is before, this is the after. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you liked it, make sure you like press the like button. And if you have any comments or suggestions, make sure you put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys.